Hey YouTube, this is Nathan from Tech Savvy, and this is a tutorial on how to install the Android OS on your PC or Mac. So let's get started. First, you're gonna want to download a few things. So first, we'll have to download the live Android ISO. You can either download it via torrent, or you can download it into split files. The links will be in the description below. After this, you're gonna have to download VirtualBox. So just go to Downloads. Um, um, in the link in the description below and you wanna if you use a Windows PC you wanna choose this and if you use a Mac you wanna choose this link okay so after you have everything installed you're gonna wanna open up Oracle VM virtual box and then click new after this you wanna enter the name you wanna put for your OS so I'll just name it Android OS and you wanna um, choose the type um, you should choose Linux as it Android OS is based off this. There's some Linux kernels in it. After this, you want to choose other Linux version. Then click Next. 256 megabytes of RAM is fine. You can also do 500. It's your choice. You will also want to create a new virtual hard drive now. So click Choose Create a Virtual Hard Drive now and click Create. Just select this and select Fix Size. Um, two gigabytes should be fine, or four, your choice. I'll just set it as two for this example. After the virtual hard drive is created, it should go back to the previous page. So I'm just going to wait for this to finish. Okay, so next what you're going to want to do is click on settings. Then you'll want to go to network, um, you know, storage, I believe. Then you click on empty. And you'll have to mount your iOS, o, the ISO that you downloaded. So mine is on the desktop, so I'll just mount it from there. Now you should see it appear here. You also want to change one other thing. Is you want to disable absolute pointing device. And after this, you want to start the Android OS, and you should get to the screen. Just any resolution should be fine, so I'll just go with 800 by 600, as it is a mobile device. Well, the OS is meant for a mobile device. might take a while but you'll end up on the screen and here it is this is your Android operating system next week I'll be doing another tutorial on how to do with a different Android OS so this is Nathan signing out from Tech Savvy